Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Jenny and today I have a huge, exciting Dollar Tree haul to share with you. Everything I picked up is a brand new. If you wanna keep up to date on what is new at the Dollar Tree, then be sure you always check out the Come With Me to the Dollar Tree videos that I post throughout the week because those are the videos that you are gonna see what is new and what to look out for. I'm pretty good about linking those down below so it's easier for you to find. Also, if you like to follow me on Instagram or TikTok, I'll go ahead and link those down below as well. So with all that said, let me dive in and let me show you on what I purchased. So I'm gonna start off with these. I have only been able to find it at one of my Dollar Trees and I have like 12 of them here in my town. These are amazing. I already started a DIY with these. And this right here is called a bicycle wheel. It is 14 inches by Floral Garden. What? There are so many different things you can do with these. Now, I brought two of them with me here to show you. If you put one on top of the other and have it like not like even look how cool that is if you use two you can always line it up like that but just i mean look at the difference and it does have a little hole right there so you can do other things with these and yeah and you can always spray paint them too if you don't want to keep them black so there are endless possibilities with these these are with like the other floral um wreaths and all that fun stuff so that is really cool this as well i'm pretty sure it's new um but i picked one up just in case because i i'll probably use it in my daughter's wedding but this is a charger plate but look at the detail isn't that cool it is gold and these are roughly um 12 about 13 to 14 inches and you can always spray paint these as well so you don't have to keep it that color so I did pick up one of those they have some new self-adhesive wall tiles by tool bench I believe there's four new ones these are the two that I chose to use in some of my DIYs and these are 12 inches so here you have a rock one now these aren't like really, really sticky, um, but anyway, it's easy to use, just peel and stick. I have put it on my wall before and it did not cause any damage. Now, if it's something that you're gonna leave it up for a long period of time, like some people are using these in like a backsplash, I would add, add another adhesive on the very back so it sticks for a while. But there's the directions. And then the other one that they had was this one. This one's like an off-white gray. So this one's really cool as well. Now you can use these for backgrounds if you do YouTube videos. Or you can use it in a backdrop if you sell stuff online. Um, another um, thing you could do with these is uh, use them in your craft room if you wanted a different kind of background or in your bathroom. So these are really, really cool. And these are always over by the tools and everything. And be sure you look on the very tip top shelf because I have found these at some other stores on the very top shelf. This. What? I was just like... And these are so cool. They have another one that they've had for the past couple of years, but they're smaller. But this one is a clear container by Carter's or Caterer's Corner. So this is like with the wedding stuff. Look how big this is. And I did bring this to give you an estimate. These are about almost eight inches tall and six inches wide. You can spray paint these. You could put stickers on these. There's so many fun things that you can do with these and think like for even the holidays. You know, a lot of people do different DIYs for Christmas. These are so cool. And there is Ella. She always has to make an appearance, doesn't she? Not Ella. Oh, and by the way, my dogs are doing much better. Um, this one right here, eh. It depends on her day or what time she gets up or how late she was up at night. Pretty much like a teenager. Let me fix the 
pillow. Of course, you're gonna dig on my pillow. Um, but Ella's the one that's been, you know, sometimes she'll eat, sometimes she won't, but the other two are doing much, much better. And also here at the very end, I'm gonna um, tell you a quick story and um, my daughter's friend really needs your guys' help. So I'm gonna add that here at the end in this video. So yeah, I think these are really, really cool. Love them. All right, moving on. Uh, um, I think they had three or hmm, four of different ones of these. These are Speed Stick Body Wash, Surfside Rush, and this is a 14.8 inch. They did have another scent similar to this, but eh, did not smell good at all. This one smells pretty good. Yeah. Why is it smell like I have like water stuck up my nose. You know how if you get water in your nose of swimming and that, well, that's odd. Huh, interesting, it just now happened. Leave it to my nose. But this one I really like, I like this one. And then for the women's, I got the Rose Delight. Um, I got this for my daughter to use. Again, this is a 14.8 inch, a very florally, is that even a word? I don't know, in Jenny's world it is, but there is that one, and again, this one. Um, I did do a walkthrough at a couple of my Dollar Trees. They're just real, it's like four minutes long. I might add that here at the end. It just depends how long this video is. So I'll try my um, best to move along pretty fast. Um, these are really cool. I already did one DIY with this one, and I promise you I will have a video up doing a multiple different DIYs. I have been working a lot on them but these right here are a fern what you get four ferns where the red fern grows oh i love that show cry every time but look at this look how cool that is very like tropical or you can have like a peacock flail tail but they have two different shades so there's this one that has lighter green tips. So yeah, they have those. And then they have eucalyptus. Yes, and of course they have two different shades of that one as well. And these things are really, really big. So just a rough estimate. Oh, I hate this ruler. Why do they make them see-through? I mean, you have to have like a 20-20 vision to read the numbers on these kind of rulers so here we have 12 and 18 inches they're about 18 inches big again there is the dark and then the light green but look how cool that is oh love it and then the other one they had was this weird looking fern and i can't remember i think they had two different shades of this one but i only picked up one because this wasn't like my favorite but there is that fern so let me compare the two next to each other. Again, these do have four per pat or four per thing, bunch, bundle, whatever. So make sure there's four. I did notice some of them were ripped off. So just double check to make sure you have four ferns or eucalyptus. Four? Yes, four. All right, moving on. Uh, I bought a couple, a couple of these, so I'll probably buy flowers this year. I did not buy flowers last year, but the Indiana weather, once again, is all messed up. I woke up this morning, let's see, today's Saturday. It was what, 33 degrees out and there was frost on the, oh, that's right. I didn't take Ruby for her car ride today. I still take Ruby on her daily car trip. That's why she's hovering over me. Oh, yeah, poor baby. But anyway, um, I'm glad I haven't bought flowers yet because they would have been dead with this weather here. It's only going to be in the... 40s and 50s for a high for the next, what, week? <sighs> but anyway, this is the expanding soil. Expands 10 times naturally organic. Just add water. Great for plants, flowers, and veggies. Makes three quarts. Compact and lightweight. Excellent soil. Alternative. Easy to use. 100% renewable and biogradable. Voila. Of course, this was with the lawn and garden stuff and the planters and yeah, yeah, yeah. All that fun stuff. So there is that. And it's like a brick. Um, 
found another pair of sunglasses. Actually, I found two. I mean, you can find some really cool sunglasses there. Um, these are perfect. Oh, there's fingerprints all over these. Um, you know, so you don't have, if you're going to go to the lake and you don't want to wear your really nice sunglasses and take a chance of them falling off in the water, which I did long, long time ago in the ocean there in Florida. I was jumping in the waves, you know, oh, I'm so cool. And I had my Oakley sunglasses on and oh, yeah, there's a shark out there somewhere wearing my Oakleys from 1992. But anyway, these sunglasses, they have paper on them. But if you are going for the bug look or the 90 year old women that wear these big giant sunglasses i mean they're stylish they make everything look yellow and orange but you know what they have bug eye looking things and then they also had it in black same uh size i do believe so yeah i mean i don't know how often i would wear these big old things but my girls wear funky sunglasses so yes yes always be sure you check out your sunglasses there at the dollar tree this is really cool i bought two of them now, this does not work on my phone. I have a Galaxy Android whatever, S9 something. I don't even know what it is, but this does not fit, but it does fit my kids' phone. This is a phone disco light. I did use my son's phone earlier and recorded it in the bathroom. So here again, at the end, I will add a quick demonstration on what this looks like. It's really cool though. I wish you could use something else besides your phone to use this, but it just says plug into your phone, charging port and play music. No installation required. We didn't have music going, so I don't know why they're saying use music. I don't know. But all you do is this pops right out. You put this in where you charge your phone and the lights and everything. Oh, it's so cool. But it does kind of flash. So if you cannot watch flashing lights, just warning you when I do show this at the end. This is really cool. Again, this was over by the sunglasses. Interesting. And they were up by the register on the plastic strips. Like always, I always tell you guys, make sure you check out all the plastic strips throughout the entire store because you never know what you will find hanging on those thingy-madoobers. They have a lot of new like calendars out or like memo pads. This is a weekly planner pad. You get 30 sheets. It's a 9.75 by 7.5. In the walkthrough, I showed you, I think they had four different sets. This is the one that I chose. And I like the different colors. It says it's the brand Three Birds Design. Interesting. So I'm going to rip this out really quick. And there you go. If you like to write your goals down for each day or like, oh, I need to clean the bathrooms or do this and this, I tend to get more done if in the morning I write down everything that I want to do and try to mark everything off instead of trying to keep it up in your head because the older you get, your memory just goes down the drain. Speaking of, I'm so sorry that so many of you are going through menopause right now. Just know that I am with you and reading some of the comments had me laughing and some of the comments were like, I can't go 20 years like this. Some of you have been going through this for almost 20 years. I pray that I don't do that because, mm, yeah. but anyway. Okay, moving right along. I am so glad I picked these up because so many of you, when I showed in my walkthrough, like those are really good, you know, those are amazing. And they, I'm like, okay, you know what? I picked them up. They had two different sets. These are brush markers. They had two different sets. You get three of them. And this is what they look like, of course. This is with all the other stationery. So this one you get red, orange, yellow, and this one you get blue, green, and a purple. So I'm going to go ahead and open one of these because I like to try different things out for you guys. I like to open um, items. I try to give you DIY ideas. That is what I like to do on my channel. So here is a blue. So let's just write. Oh, okay. Yes, that's my signature. But yeah, those write really nice. Let me write smile. Ooh, it makes me look like I have fancy handwriting, which I honestly don't. But those are really nice. Again, these are brush markers. Let me know if there's any other colors because that was the only two that I was able to find. Napkins. Josie, you're snoring, honey. You snore, baby girl. 
their napkins. I have done multiple DIYs using napkins and well, even tissue paper from the Dollar Tree. Look how beautiful these napkins are, you guys. Oh, what? You get 16 of them. And I have scissors there. I'm going to open it because sometimes uh, a lot of these kind of uh, napkins, they only have the design in the middle and then the rest of the napkin is just plain. So these were with the wedding stuff. So just be sure you check out all of that. So here is, I mean, look how beautiful the colors are, the flowers. Oh, I'm so excited. Ooh, it has like a border, but you see what I mean? It's just in the middle. So I, I'm definitely doing some DIYs with these. And always check out their tissue paper because you can do some really fun stuff with their tissue paper as well. And they're always putting out new designs, colors, and all that fun stuff. So yes, I really like those. In fact, those would be perfect for my daughter's bridal shower, actually. Um, these. I'm going to try my best to have my son try these out when he gets home from the ball. These are bubble toys for outside. They're never too old to do bubbles. But this I thought was very interesting. This is a bubble flying disc with a dipping tray, ages four and up. It is 11.4 by 11.4. Well, it's 11.4. And great for parties, beach or park, outdoor events, family fun. And they did have it in different colors as well, like red, purple, green, blue. Um, this one just says, put the tray on the floor, fill the tray with bubble solution, which I did buy a big thing of bubbles from the Dollar Tree. I flip the bubble saucer upside down and dip it into the tray. Pick up the bubble saucer and then throw not blow, uh, throw. Go away from my Sesame Street. So I'm going to locate my scissors. Again, I will try my best to have my son try some of this out and I can show you. I'm already at 17 minutes. I don't know. Okay, so there's the tray. That's actually a cool tray to do a DIY with. Very sturdy. And I'm assuming you probably dip it this way. Does it show a picture? No, it does not. So I'll probably do it totally wrong. No, I think it's pretty much you do it this way like that. And then you pick it up, get bubbles and stickiness all over your hands and then throw it at your friends. So they get bubbles all over them as well. So I suggest not to wear really nice clothes or whatever if you're going to be using this because you know darn well the bubble juice is going to get everywhere. But bubbles are fun. And another item that I picked up with the bubbles is the bubble fan, ages three and up, one bubble fan in one tray. It does take two AAA batteries. They did have this in multiple colors as well. So let's go ahead and rip this little sucker open to give you a better look. There is the battery thing. So you need a very teeny tiny Phillips screwdriver. I use this um, screwdrivers from the Dollar Tree in the eyeglass repair kit lifesaver. Try to get a pack if you need one and those work great on little projects like this. You get a little bubble tray, put your bubbles in there, put your uh, little different thing in there and then you're going to pull that back right here and then it's going to blow. So we'll see how well that works. And then the last bubble thing I picked up, they have this in multiple colors as well. This is ages three and up. This is a humongous bubble maker. Now, they have something almost just like this at Target for $4.99. Uh, great, let's see, create long giant bubbles, contains one blue bubble wand, includes one bubble maker, um, and great for parties, beach, park, blah, blah, blah. Okay, this is nine inches. Careful, because I think, I don't know if there's a string in there or not. Yes, there is. So, that looks interesting. Looks like nunchucks or a big giant tampon. How? Come on. Oh, well, it's like a yarn. What? Well, that, why is there, this looks so confusing. Oh my, this, I don't know. This is going to be interesting to try out. I mean, these are really like, you know what? You can do a DIY with this. It could be a unicorn horn. Yeah, a unicorn horn. Or you maybe can hang something like a clothesline or something. I don't, oh, I don't know. We'll see how this thing works. Most likely that doesn't look very promising. Although that might be the one thing that really does work. 
So yeah, that is all the bubble fun that I bought. Uh, their um, hand sanitizing wipes. These are a fantastic deal. I always, I even before the pandemic, I have been always a very clean uh, person, and I like to keep these kind of things in my car. Um, if we go to the beach, if we go to the mall, if we go anywhere, I like to have this kind of stuff in my car wherever we're at. So the first thing I'm going to show you is a pack of four of Skin Aid Medics hand sanitizing wipes. And you get three different scents. You get 20 a per pack and there's four packs. So this one, you get fresh scent, grapefruit scent, berry, coconut. Again, it is a four pack, you guys, a four pack. And they have the nice um, flippy thing. Oh, smells like suntan lotion. And a couple of my daughters, or no, not a couple of my daughters. Yeah, a couple of my daughters and their friends and my mom are going to Florida next week. Ooh, they're going to see us the key. <laughs> I'm so jealous. But yeah, that's really nice. And then these are like amazing. Um, these are for the home, office, school, vehicle, and travel. 75% ethanol wet wipes. You get 100 wipes. Now I have found these in, no, actually three different sections of my Dollar Tree. These were over by the uh, chemicals, you know, the cleaners and all that stuff. They had these up by the register and they also had these over there by like the shampoo and conditioner kind of stuff. I just think people probably really didn't know where to put them. But this is a huge pack and it has the nice lid and it has the sealable um, peel thing. Let me see if it smells. What does that smell like? What does that smell like? Okay. Mm. Nope. I am going to have a panic attack if I smell those again. Long story. I can't use these. Oh my God. It's going to be on my hands. I'm going to freak out. Oh, get that. Get this. Okay. These are going to my daughter for sure. So they smell like rubbing alcohol. Sooner or later, you guys will understand. Yes, my heart. I might have to put some spick and span on my hands to get this scent off of me. But yes, to my next item here, this is the spick and span everyday antibacterial cleaner. Kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria and viruses. Kills the virus that causes COVID-19. Very interesting. But this is the one they had. They have a yellow one and then they had a bigger green one. But this one smells like a lavender. And it says, cuts through grease and grime. You get one tiny, four ounce? I don't know. I can't read that. 20 ounce. Oh, maybe I should have picked up some eyeglasses. Oh, smells very clean. I don't, <laughs> honestly don't think it smells like lavender, but does anything really smell like what it says on the package? Hmm, not really. But yeah, picked up that. I am going to be doing a, di uh, a didio. I'm going to be doing a didio. A video at some point I've been buying different storage containers and everything from the Dollar Tree and like in the Target dollar spot I'm gonna be organizing a bunch of stuff in my house like underneath my bathroom sinks in the medicine cabinet and all different things in my house that I have not really organized in probably 10 years so it'd be very interesting on what I'm gonna find in those cabinets bathroom cabinet that is but hey, here's some more wipes I am NOT gonna smell these because, well, it says first scent, so I don't think it's gonna um, smell like the other one. But again, this is the Skin Aid Medics Gentle on Hands Hand Sanitizing Wipes, Antibacterial, Moisturizes, and Aloe Vera and Vitamin E on the go, Backpack, Briefcase, Car Dust, Lemon Scent. You get 40 of them. And these were side by side. So I'm like, oh, what's the difference? Just the smell? Yeah, it's, that's the only difference is the scent. The fresh scent, you get 80. This one, you get 40. Same brand, same everything, just a different scent. Well, I was just in such a hurry. I'm like, well, I don't know what the difference is. I'll just get one of each. Well, then when I looked at it, I'm like, hey, yeah, good it is. I could care less if it smelled like fresh or lemon. Oh, it's got, okay. Ooh, that reminds me of those old butt wipes. I 
should say baby wipes. I have always called them butt wipes. Like when my kids, I'm like, go get your butt wipes. I can't get this. Oh my gosh. I am so weak. I can't even get <laughs> menopause side effect. Weakness. I can't get that. I cannot get that for the life of me. But you're supposed to take the lid off and get the little plastic thingy. This one has it too. Oh, well this one, this one popped off. This one is being a little stubborn little butt. Pretty much like Josie's. Right, Joe? Let me love you. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't get it. Can't tell you what it smells like, but most likely it'll smell like lemon. But yeah, that's the only difference is the scent. You get double the amount in this one. So, of course, get that one. Um, another cleaner I picked up. This is the Daily Shower by Awesome. It works on contact. It actually puts cleaning power into plain old water. Okay, fresh scent. You get 32 ounces. Now I had bought the other one that is a bathroom cleaner and I love the scent of it and it works great. I have not smelt this. This is fresh scent. Oh yeah, it smells fresh. I actually like that. But yeah, I might do another video too because I, I buy a lot of my cleaning supplies there at the Dollar Tree. The sponges, the, I mean, there's so many amazing things you can buy there. I just can't believe it. For so many years, I would buy my stuff at like a Target or Home Depot. And so I'm like, I'll go to the Dollar Tree, baby. Okay. Moving on. Uh, they have these back in stock. They had these a year or two ago. Now these are about $4 at uh, Walmart. These are erasers. They're hot pups, ages three and up, and comes with six pieces. You get one hot pup, and I think that's it. Series one. That's what it looks like. Now, I was trying to find all different uh, cheat codes. I like to help you guys out with those. The lady's falling asleep. And there was no cheat code. But I am going to show you all the different ones that you're able to collect if it focuses as always i am going to open this up to give you an idea of what it looks like so it might be something you might like oh yeah that's something i would really like or my kids or my grandkids or whatever or party favors and these are a pretty good size like i said they say they're erasers but i wouldn't use them for erasers i used to collect erasers when i was little okay so you have your doggy very peppy and then you have your bun which there's a little hole right there. You just put your bun on your dog like that. And then you add like the lettuce, tomato, and I think onion. And I don't know what that little wiggly thing is. But yeah, very cute. Of course, those were over there by uh, the toys. Uh, I picked up some new nail polish. This is by Flower, which is, uh, oh my gosh, I can't think of her name. I can see her face, but I can't think of her name. But there is that color. Now, I definitely need to redo my nails at some point. Um, my gosh, what is her name? She played in E.T. She was the, the little girl on E.T. Of course, it smells like nail polish. Why would you have to sniff it? I don't know, because I sniff it. I sniff. <laughs> can't talk. And a blood. But I thought that was a pretty cool color. I've never worn a color like that. And the last, the last few items I picked up were some razor blades, and they have a Gillette. You get three razors. They have two blades on each one, and they feel really, oh my goodness gracious, those feel really cheap. Those feel really cheap. Oh, I didn't know. I don't know if I'll trust you cutting on myself. I eh, don't know. Don't know about that. I just seen Gillette. I'm like, oh yeah, sure. I'll give it to my husband. He can use them. And they had the Pure Silk Spa Therapy. Uh, two blades. You get five razors and those. Oh wait, why did I buy that? Oh, this one has three blades. And you only get two razors. Hmm. I mean, how many blades do you really need? Is your hair that strong that a razor blade can't cut it i never understood that i don't know and i have a hangnail that's great 
And then the other one, they had the Simply Venus by Gillette. You get two blades and three razors. So let's see how cheap these feel. And they, well, they, no, at least they're prettier. Look at that. Feel really light based open. Definitely not like the other ones. These feel a little bit better. I wonder how well that would work. And then the last pack of razors, I don't think I bought these before. These are the Barbasol. I think that's the brand. You get five razors and they each have two blades. So let's just go ahead and snip, snip, snip. And oh, these feel better. These, these Gillette ones? Oh my, no, I don't know about that. I don't know. But that, my subby friends, is everything that I bought at my Dollar Tree. So I hope I was able to show you something that maybe you can go find at one of your local stores. I'm at 31 minutes, so I'm going to try to make this really, really quick. Um, my daughter, Grace, her um, close friend, Rachel, she's 19 years old. She works at the Y. She works in the, the uh, daycare section, and she rescued a puppy. Um, he's 11 months now. His name is Benson, and he became very ill very fast, so she had to take him to the 24-hour emergency clinic, which is called Knives, which that's where Grace used to work. Um, it's located here in Fort Wayne. It's off of Maple Crest and St. Joe Road. And her bill was almost $4,000. Now, she did start a GoFundMe page, and she also um, sent pictures of the bill I know there's a lot of people, you know, if they're going to donate something, they want to see, you know, that what it's going for. It's definitely going for Benson. Um, again, the bill was at first estimated at 7000 but then they did all the numbers and had the surgery and everything, and it turned out to be almost $4,000, which I will link the uh, GoFundMe down below, also the Facebook page. If you can't donate, that's totally fine. But if you can share her um, GoFundMe or her link or whatever and just try to get her um, to be able to help pay for Benson. Again, she did rescue him that these puppies were going to be thrown in the trash. And he's a great dog. He is a mutt, but he looks like a beautiful dog. I'm going to add some pictures here at the end of her with Benson. Um, even I think the minimum you can donate through uh, GoFundMe is $5. So, I mean, $5, it, it does go a long way. Don't think, oh, I can only do, you know, this. That's a lot. You know, if you add that up to say a hundred people donated, um, $5, I mean, every little bit helps. So if you're able to, that's great. If not, that's great as well. If you can just share her story, I think that would be, you know, I, I, um, you know, got, you guys know how I am with my dogs and the amount of money I've spent on Ruby and it does take a toll on you, you know, and she's only 19. Okay. She did the right thing by saving this dog. And then, you know, it wasn't her fault. This dog got sick all of a sudden. Um, again, I will put the papers in here. You might have to pause it and read it on everything that they had to do. Um, he did have to, I don't know. I think they had to cut him open. I'm, I'm not hundred percent sure. I didn't read it all, but you know, I just feel bad. So it's it's not like she doesn't have a job and she's not trying to provide for herself or anything, you know. So she does have a job. You know, she's trying to support herself and now her little fur baby that's been very, very sick. So if you're able to help, that would be amazing. Um, also, what was I going to? Oh, this sweatshirt. I know people are probably going to ask where I got this sweatshirt. This is um, from American Eagle. It was on sale for $25. I bought it last weekend, so they might still have it. They had a few different designs in that and colors, but I absolutely love it. This is a size large. Um, not as baggy as I would like, but it fits really cute. I love it. So yes, American Eagle, or was it Airy? Airy or American Eagle? Well, one or the other. You can still get on the same site and find it. And I want to say happy happy Mother's Day to all of you beautiful moms human moms and fur baby moms. Um, I just hope you have a fantastic day. Take time for yourself, relax, watch a movie, read a book, take a bath, whatever makes you happy. Try to make some time for yourself and do something that you really love to do. So as always, I wanna say thank you for always taking the time 
out of your day to stop and watch my video. So I hope you all have a wonderful, beautiful, safe Saturday, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Keep smiling.